Hi, so in this video we are going to learn about the LCM and HCF of fractions. So why are we learning about LCM and HCF of fractions? Because lots of people have asked me to solve problems where they have to know how to find the LCM and HCF of fractions. They have asked me problems where you have to find a number when the number is divided by the given set of numbers. It is neither giving a constant remainder nor giving a remainder which has a constant difference from the divisors. So that is where the LCM and HCF of fractions, mainly LCM of fractions, is very useful. Let's learn how to find it and then we will solve those kind of problems also. So when we talk about the LCM of fraction, suppose if I have fractions like numerator 1, denominator 1 and numerator 2, denominator 2 and suppose numerator 3 and denominator 3. Suppose if we have three fractions like this, then the LCM of these three fractions will be a fraction such that the LCM when divided by these fractions n1 by d1 or n2 by d2 or n3 by d3. Each time it has to give us the result as an integer. Or you can say the quotient which you get by dividing this LCM of these fractions by any of these fractions will always be an integer. So how to find it? So the LCM of fractions is actually found by calculating the LCM of numerators which are n1, n2 and n3 divided by the HCF of the denominators which is d1, d2 and d3 and how it works this suppose we write as n by d so when I divide this n by d by first fraction which is n1 by d1 then we will get n by d multiplied by the reciprocal of n1 by d1 so this will be d1 divided by n1 the resultant will always be an integer why because this n is the LCM of n1, n2, n3. That means this n is a multiple of n1 and at the same time this capital D is the HCF of d1, d2 and d3. That means this capital D is actually the factor of all these d1, d2 and d3. So if we solve this we are not going to get anything in this denominator because this D is a factor of D1 and this capital N is a multiple of N1. So when you solve this, you are not going to get anything in the denominator and the resultant will always be an integer. So this is how we find the LCM of fractions and if I talk about the HCF of fraction, the HCF of fractions can be found as the HCF of numerators N1, N2, N2 and n3 divided by the LCM of denominators which are d1, d2 and d3. Suppose this you get as n1 by d1 then this fraction n1 by d1 will be a fraction which will be a proper factor of n1 by d1, n2 by d2 and n3 by d3. That means when you divide n1 by d1 by this capital N1 by capital D1, you are going to get an integer. So this fraction n1 by d1 will be a proper fra factor of all these given fractions. That means the HCF of given fractions will be a fraction which when divide the given fractions will always give integers. If I divide n1 by d1 by this HCF which is capital N1 by capital D1, this can be written as N1 by D1 multiplied by the reciprocal of the HCF which will be capital D1 by capital N1. Here this capital D1 is the LCM of all the denominators D1, D2 and D3. That means this capital D1 is actually the least common multiple of all these denominators. So when capital D1 divided by small d1 will give you an integer and similarly this capital N1 is the highest common factor of all the numerators. That means when any of these numerators in this particular case is N1 divided by this capital N1 will give you an integer as a result. So again we are not going to get anything in the denominator. So the resultant over here will again be an integer. So this is how we find the LCM of the fractions and this is how we find the HCF of the fractions. So now let's take sample for each and then in the next video we'll solve few word problems based on these concepts. Right? 
So let's learn how to find the LCM of the fractions. So let me find the LCM of fractions 5 by 12, 6 by 5 and 3 by 2. So what we have learnt? LCM of any fractions will be equal to the LCM of numerators which in this case is 5, 6 and 3 divided by the HCF of denominators which will be HCF of 12, 5 and 2. Right? So if I want to find the LCM of 5, 6 and 3, I will use the common division method. If I divide by 2, this 5 will not get divided by 2. 2, 3 is a 6 and 3 will come as it is. Then I will divide it by 3. This 5 will come as it is. 3 ones are 3, 3 ones are 3 and then 5 ones are 5. Or I have all the ones over here. So LCM of 5, 6 and 3 will be actually 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 which will be 5 to the 10 multiplied by 3 30 divided by the HCF of 12 5 and 2 so yeah by inspection itself we can say the HCF is going to be 1 because 5 and 2 are co-prime numbers and if in a given set you have any two numbers as co-prime numbers the HCF will always be 1 otherwise also you can try and find the HCF so 1 is the HCF of 2 and 5 and HCF of 12 and 1 will again be 1 so we'll get HCF as 1 over here so 30 will actually be the LCM of 5 by 12 6 by 5 and 3 by 2 so 30 when I divide it by 5 by 12 this can be written as 30 multiplied by 12 by 5 gives us 72 similarly 30 when divided by 6 by 5 will give you 30 multiplied by 5 by 6 6 fives are 30 and 5 fives are 25 and similarly when you divide 30 by 3 by 2 you will get 30 multiplied by 2 by 3 which will give you 20. So in each case we are getting an integer as the quotient. So 30 will be the LCM of 5 by 12, 6 by 5 and 3 by 2. Now let's find the HCF of few fractions. So suppose I want to find HCF of 2 by 15, 12 by 5 and 3 by 4. This HCF will be a number which when divides any of these fractions will give you an integer as quotient. If we want to find the HCF of fractions, it will be HCF of numerators which will be 2, 12 and 3 divided by the LCM of the denominators which will be LCM of 15, 5 and 4. 2 and 3 are co-prime numbers so HCF of 2, 12 and 3 will be 1. And if we talk about LCM, the LCM of 15 and 5 is 15 and 15 and 4 are co-primes. So the LCM of 15 and 4 will be product of 15 and 4 which will be 60. So the HCF of 2 by 15, 12 by 5 and 3 by 4 will be 1 by 60. And this 1 by 60 will be a factor of all these given fractions. That means it will divide 2 by 15 and 12 by 5 and 3 by 4 completely. It can be written as 2 by 15 multiplied by 60 by 1, 15, 4 is a 60 or 4 to the 8 and this can be written as 12 by 5 multiplied by 60 by 1. This will be equal to 144 and when I divide 3 by 4 by 60 which can be written as 3 by 4 multiplied by 60, 4 ones are 4, 4 fives are 20, 15 multiplied by 3 is 45. In each case we are getting an integer as the result, right? So this is how we find the HCF of fractions. So in next few videos we are going to solve few problems which will use these concepts. So keep watching MathMath and bye bye till then.